bitches and losers and all you fabulous doms and women out there that are fucking killing it. It is Friday. It's your Friday. It's my Thursday. I got shit to talk about. First and foremost, I always like tend to talk about, you know, my vanilla life in the beginning. I was so productive yesterday. I really was. And still being able to be a smart ass on Twitter. Okay, YouTube video for today. God, I got so much shit. All right, I'm going to do a couple uh, short little things really quick, uh, questions. Um, and then I want to talk about a li lifestyle subs, if you guys... Uh, don't know what that is and what my opinion and how I feel about them. Okay. So first and foremost, I had um, somebody ask me a question on here. How do you get your bio together? Um, my, your pro profile bio? Like, I mean, here's the thing. Okay. On like your avian stars, only fans, whatever. Um, Twitter's kind of hard because you're limited on what you can put. Uh, so if you go to my AVN stars, you can see what I wrote about myself. If you go to my Fet Life, you can see what I wrote about myself. I uh, my bio is me. I mean, it's my experience and why I like doing this. Um, so I don't honestly. You you just gotta kind of put what you feel represents you, I guess, you know? Uh, I mean, you could put that you're new to it. You could put that, you know, I mean, I just, just tell. Uh, of course, if you're just kind of like in this shit for the money, I wouldn't be like, I'm just in this shit for the money. I don't know. Some people might actually fucking like that shit. Um, God, it's actually, I should probably put my sunglasses on. Um, so yeah, look at what other people put, but don't copy, you know, get ideas. It's all about, you could do research and get ideas, but your bio is who, who you are and what you want to represent. So there's that. Okay. Bio. Jesus Christ, Patricia, don't wreck. Uh, oh, I'm just going to say this. And I'm sure a lot of girls are going to get pissed off. I fucking hate verification videos. I really fucking do. And you know what? I did one when I first got on Twitter because I saw everybody kind of doing them. And then I was like, oh, well, fuck that. Um, oh, and I hate when girls are like, I'm verified. Because you do a fucking verification video holding your name going, I'm mistress or queen and blah, 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 blah. Fuck you. You know, I fucking hate verification videos. If you want people to really see who you are, then just post random videos on your... I just hate them. That's my fucking opinion. I'm sure people are gonna fucking be like, fuck him. I don't care. I hate them. I think they look fucking retarded and stupid and it's... Everybody does the same thing. Writing their name on... I mean, like... Oh, whatever. Okay, so there's there's that rant that I'm sure I'm gonna get. Um, I had somebody fucking. I don't know if he watches this, but I had somebody approach me yesterday on Twitter, being like, "Do you have time for a session?" Question mark in my DMs, and I know he has uh, DM'd me before because uh, it didn't go into like my you know messages you know, uh, whatever they call messages, uh, the ones that you're not friends with people or whatever, or you have to accept the message. Um, I mean, fucking people read the profiles. It's read the profile and pin tweet. Fuck. I, I always say that I'm not going to fucking like talk to you about sessions if you don't tribute something. Okay, I can put the fucking tribute towards the fucking session. I'm not telling you to fucking give me, you know, a shit ton of money, but you're fucking taking up my time. And if it's just, uh, you know, so then if you are just fucking taking up my goddamn time, then okay, at least I've gotten paid a little coin for it. And if you're if you're not wanting to like do that to begin with, that I mean, 
look at my shit. Do I even do it? And, you know, the whole thing is, I am not at people's beck and calls for fucking sessions. I'm not. I'm just not. I don't have to be. So, it, you know, do you have time for a quick session now? It's like, no, I don't. I'm busy. So, anyways, that's that rant about that. Um, I did a poll on Twitter being like, for all the lurkers out there, are you like fucking a broke ass, broke as fuck? Are you a loser? Or are you scared of me? You know what motherfucker said? They're broke as fuck and they're scared of me. So then why the fuck are you following me? Oh my God. Sorry. Okay. Ranty, 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 ranty. Oh, I need to fucking pay attention. Okay. So let's talk about lifestyle slaves subs I don't call, like calling them slaves um, that's just me I don't judge if people do it I have my fucking opinion either you like it or you don't um, oh hold on before I get to the lifestyle I had a sub that came into my DMs and he was oh so respectful being like with all due respect queen Maybe if you had some makeup on, you would attract more subs. Bitch, do you fucking think I give two fucks what the subs think? Do you really think I I, I do? Do you honestly to fucking God think I give two fucks what subs think of me? I don't care if they think I'm butt ugly old. I don't care if they think I'm the hottest fucking thing that walked the earth. I don't care. It is one of the most freeing things in the world when you do not need to fucking be validated by a goddamn dude or anybody else. The only validation I need is when I feel good about things I've achieved in my life or if I get recognized at work for things, but I don't even fucking need it because you know what? I'm confident enough in myself. I know I do well, good, amazing, And I'm awful confident enough in myself that I can recognize flaws and if I fuck up and make mistakes. Ladies, one thing about being in this lifestyle and if you are a true dom or if this shit brings it out in you, you become more confident because you know what? It doesn't fucking matter what these pieces of fucking losing shit Because if you're fucking sending me a message like that, that's what you are. Think about us. You have to fucking pay me to fucking pay attention to you. To acknowledge you. The only reason I am doing this video acknowledging that fucking DM is because I want to tell you ladies. It doesn't fucking matter. I used to be that girl that I can walk out of the house unless I was in a full fucking face of makeup and shit like that. And I remember in the 80s reading an article in Cosmopolitan being like, never leave the house unless you're all done up because you'll never know. You might meet the man of your fucking dreams. I don't care. I don't give two fucks what you think about my looks, my body, I don't care. And it took me a fucking long time to get there. But when I got there, it is the most fucking freeing feeling you'll ever have. This does not mean I don't care about people in general or just I don't care about life. It's just you don't fucking matter that much. And even if I had a long-term motherfucking sub that started pulling that shit, trust me. Bye, bitch. Like I said, my my, my favorite pet that ghosted me, I was like, oh, that sucks. But I wasn't all fucking hurt inside. You know why? Because that's on his fucking loser ass for not having enough goddamn fucking balls which I'm not surprised to fucking be like, queen, blah, blah, blah. 
this is why I have to ghost. Or not ghost. He wouldn't be ghosting them. But you know what I mean. Alright. So fuck you guys. Ladies. Fucking. You need to be good with yourself. If you're not good with yourself. Then you need to fucking figure out a way to get there. Therapy. Whatever. I don't care. Do it. We have been bred in this world to serve men. Bullshit. We are the fucking superiors. They serve us. There we go. Okay, enough with that rant. I didn't think it would get that heated, but I guess I did feel a certain way. Lifestyle subs. Um, I had a very uh, nice submissive um, approach me on FetLife asking about, you know, kind of being like a lifestyle sub. Here's the thing. And I hope he's watching this. I am letting him know that I am uh, talking about this so he can see. Um, Here's the thing. I have had lifestyle subs before. I have never had a lifestyle sub for sexual reasons or anything like that. Um, I mean, you know, for them they get off. But I'm not attracted in a sexual way like me, you know, wanting to have sex with a lifestyle sub. Um, and that just goes back to what I get turned on by men. Like there will never be a man that's more, that I will ever be above my alpha status in my mind. (laughs) Are there alpha men? Absolutely. But I'll always be over, you know, but anyway, so I just, yeah. So for sexual needs, no. And the lifestyle subs I've had in the past, they had been, except for one, but most of them had been clients that I would session with um, at the dungeon, and then, you know, we we got to know each other so much, they wanted to start, like, serving me outside of the dungeon, like, you know, I had one that cleaned my house, I had one that picked up the dog shit in the backyard, and stuff like that, but I had been... Um, sessioning with them for a while and um yeah so I just don't uh, I I have to that that's the way that I find my lifestyle subs they have to like start out as a client in a way and then we can see but if you are looking for like a female-led relationship um, and you're a sub, I'm not the one. Uh, yeah, I'm just not the one. Um, if you're looking for a dom and to basically, uh, you know, uh, curb that kink you have and stuff like that. And I, you know, the one sub that I had that I didn't meet from sessioning, but I met him from the dom that mentored me. Uh, he was kind of like, I guess now in retrospect, I look back, he was my financial, uh, financial sub. He, every week, I mean, it was like almost every single week, he would either take me to lunch or dinner. And we're talking about like, you know, not some shitty little places. Um, he also would take me shopping. He also would, you know, he just kind of, and he liked it. He liked, and he would take my girlfriends out also. He would take me to shows and, you know, I let him as time went on. It's funny because he was a submissive to me, but he was a a dominant. Um, So he had girls that basically were like sugar babies to him. And as the relationship, uh, you know, we, this went on for shit, like five, six years, um, I started letting him bring these girls on the dates. Um, he just liked being around pretty girls, but these girls were just sugar babies that he gave money to and fucked, you know, I was like, no, I was the queen. And, um, he would drop everything for me, but I didn't have to ask him to. So, But yeah, I met him through my mentor. So, and we hung out. We used to have, he's, I started going out to like dinner with him and my mentor. Um, So he knew my whole background and everything like that. And then he inquired with my mentor 
if I would be interested, you know, and then him and I talked and yeah, we actually had a really awesome friendship. We lost touch down the road I, when I ghosted out of the business um, and just out of the life. And then I found out um, he became diabetic. I was actually the one that helped him figure out he was diabetic. And um, he said I was the only one that would ever tell him, you know, get shit done. And I was like, well, that's who I am. He's like, everybody else is scared of me. All the other girls. I'm like, well, yeah, because they're not doms. So I think I was probably one of the only dominants that really fucking had the balls to, you know, that he felt like had the balls, but I don't know. That's the difference between not needing somebody and other people needing that. I didn't need him. I liked him. I liked being around him. He was actually a very good friend, you know, but he ended up becoming diabetic. Then I heard that he had to have um, a leg amputated. And then shortly after that, he had a heart attack and died. Fucking take care of yourself, people. Take care of yourself. So, yeah, um, the lifestyle subs I've had, except except for him, he's the only fucking one, um, have always started out as clients. And, um, yeah. So, and, yeah, I'm not opposed to having a lifestyle sub, but it has to kind of work out like that. I hate to say, um, and I know that's not ideal for some people and I get it, but that's kind of how I operate. Um, so yeah, eh, you know, whatever. Uh, but yeah, it'd be nice to have a fucking household sub come and fucking cut the grass and fix shit. Oh my God. Yeah. Clean the house. Yeah. But I'm not, you know, I like my, I don't know, I'm such a fucking recluse lately. <laughs> I'm very extroverted, but I'm also an extreme introvert at times too. So like, yeah, I don't know. So anywho, and the funny thing is tonight I am going to dinner with some friends. We are finally celebrating the holidays because we were all so busy and I had my nose surgery and everything in the area that this sub actually works. So it's funny. I had not asked him where he worked. I'm not quite sure where we're going to eat. I think I know. Um, so wouldn't that fucking be funny? He bartends. He's an IT and he bartends. Oh, it's the weekends. Well, it's Friday. So I don't know. Maybe he is working. But would that not be fucking funny? Me walking in and just being like, hey. <laughs> I probably wouldn't even say anything. I'd just look at him and be like, huh. Um, it's funny. So, anywho, I hope that kind of clarifies some people. Um, yeah, I mean, I do believe that he actually is like a sub-sub, not a kinkster. I mean, he has his kinky stuff that he likes in BDSM. Um, but I believe he's a sub. Some of you motherfuckers are just fucking kinksters and you just want to get off. You don't want to fucking serve, which I get, but I ain't fucking letting you fucking anywhere in my private life. Fuck that. Lifestyle subs, life style, um, subs get involved in your private life. And I got to fucking trust the shit out of you. I don't want to have to fucking go to prison for fucking, you know, killing somebody because they all of a sudden turn all fucking serial killer on me. Ah! You know, I ain't going out like that, motherfuckers. Oh, what are you doing, you moron? Um, so yeah, um, so there's that. Uh, what else? Um, I got some shit on my wish list. I got some TVs on there. They're small TVs. I need it for my front bedroom. I need Ikea gift cards. If you can send those, do it. I need Home Depot gift cards. Do it. Um, I need to buy some fucking bras and underwear. Oh, my God. All my underwear are just fucking giving out. Who wants to buy them? Who wants to buy them? I'll wear them, and then I'll shove them in a plastic baggie for you. You got to buy them, though. Uh, I just want to say... Thank you to all of the amazing doms out there. You new girls who are hitting me up. 
um, and asking questions and paying me compliments. I appreciate that. Um, see that I like, it feels good. Like just because I say I don't have to get anybody's approval doesn't mean that when people give me praise, it doesn't feel good. And I appreciate that. Um, you know, but, uh, yeah, girls, thank you for, um, basically, yeah, uh, watching and asking questions and for you bitches that keep saying, well, you know, why the fuck we don't need more girls? Ow, ow. Ooh, you can always tell when I, uh, when I, uh, when I wash my hair, I straighten it. Um, but yeah, you know, I think it's really fucking shitty of other women to be like, eh, well, we don't need some stupid girls. How the fuck did you realize you were fucking made for this, this world? How, how did you find out just because you may have found out like in your personal life and not like this, I've had girls say, wow, you know what? This has empowered me even in my vanilla life with my vanilla job. If this can keep you from taking shit from people, it's not about being a bitch. It's about fucking standing up for yourself. So fucking stand up for yourself, ladies. And for those of you that criticize that, oh, I'm doing the wrong thing, then, okay, move on. Move the fuck on. But anyways, all the rest of you, you know what you need to fucking do? Tribute.